Hey y'all, welcome back to The Space. This is Motions, the podcast, a platform where we have candid conversations that cater to your entire being. I am your host, Naya Perkins. Thank you for tuning in once again. I'm excited that you're here. So let's talk about it. All right, so for my beverage of the day, I have um, a French vanilla latte, courtesy of downstairs. Um, Today, I just really wanted to talk about like, what's really been going on in life lately so um yeah (laughs) like what has been going on with you guys what have you been up to how are you doing i feel like i've been gone for a long time and it was only literally probably a week um i felt like honestly right now i feel like i let life catch up to me and i'm trying to get ahead I'm trying to get ahead right now. So I can't have life catching up to me. I got to already have things planned in motion so that even when life feel like it's creeping up on me a little bit, I still just move a little bit faster and continue to focus on getting ahead. Like, I hope that that, I hope that made sense. (laughs) But really, though, sometimes we can feel life can be on our heels, reminding us us of reality of what is going on you know and sometimes i feel like you can be on this light to see the light but then life it'd be like a dark shadow (laughs) just like chasing you as you're going up the light path this dark shadow is behind you and it's just like if you let that dark shadow catch up to you and take over your days you're not going to see no light. It's going to be so hard to see the light because this shadow is just creeping up on you. And it's just like, if you let it get ahead of you too much, you'll fall deep in the cracks. You can't see the light. Like, you start getting depressed. You start getting feeling like real dark, real gloomy. And then... You just have to take some time to really catch yourself up so that you do not fall in these cracks um, for too long. Because that's how I feel depression comes on, anxiety comes on, too many thoughts racing in your head. That's when all of that definitely starts. So, um, I am now... I can see the light again. <laughs> I can see the light again and I am preparing myself for light so that when, you know, that darkness does start getting on my heels, I can still like show up a little bit. Whereas though, I'm still conquering and coming out on time. Um, I recently shared that I was just feeling like really stuck in life. Like I didn't know how to progress. And that was simply because I was too busy getting caught up in the now. I'm so caught up in what's going on now that I started to worry about the future. You cannot be worried about the future for too long. You honestly can't be worried about it at all to the certain point where it's affecting your every, your every, excuse me, it's affecting every thought, every thought that you now have. You're thinking about, oh, if I do this, but then in the future, you know, but then later on, what if, what if, what if, what if. I'm here to let you know that you have to let go of those what ifs. The what ifs will take you into a place of worry. Because that's all a what if is. Worried about something bad. And speaking of that, I want to do a um, a sip and heal. You know, I want it to be like... It is going to be an event. Let me tell you about it. First of all, let's talk. Let's switch it up. <laughs> Let me tell you about this event that I am having. It is called a sip and heal. We will come in, we will burn and let go and relieve of all the worries, all the what ifs that we have, you know, all of that stress. You're going to come in here with that stress and we're going to release that stress. We're going to release that tension. We are going to knock out that boulder that is in our way of our tunnel. And the majority of the time, it's our mind. We're so caught up in the subconscious thinking. We're so caught up in the what ifs. We're so caught up in the you never knows. I do know. I do know 
that every single time that I was in this situation before, I came out on top. This is not the first time I've been in this situation. So it's just like, why am I about to stress like I'm a rookie? I am not a rookie when it comes to certain things. When it comes to stress, when it comes to worry, when it comes to other people trying to put their problems on me. I'm not a rookie to that. Remember who you are. Remember what it is that you are capable of doing. Remember that you were once in this position a long time ago, but not like this. Like, this is a different level. <laughs> this is not that person from two years ago when it happened, three years ago when it happened, one year ago, for whatever. Like, you know, like, this level that you're in right now, this shit is lit. Like, this level of life right now is lit. I don't know about you, but mine is. Because last year, I was not in the mental space that I'm in right now. Last month, I was not in the mental space that I'm in right now. Last year, I was not even in the same place that I'm in right now. It has gotten bigger. It has gotten better. Why am I sitting here so focused on how I want things to look that I am forgetting about how they look right now? They're beautiful right now. It may not be how exactly I want it to be, but it's still beautiful. And how dare I not sit there and acknowledge the beauty of my life that I am living right now. So that's what I'm on. I'm getting back to romanticizing my life. Comparison is a thief of joy. If you allow comparison to steal your joy, you'll be, you will be forever disappointed in yourself. Nothing will never be good enough for you. F comparison. Love yourself, love your life, love your situation, and most importantly, love your journey. Because if we don't start loving our journey, our our minds, our lives, it's just going to be in the dump. I promise, I promise it is. Because you can never seem happy, you're never satisfied. But yes, with that being said, this, poly, um, this wellness workshop that I am doing, that I am creating, um, it is going to be such a beautiful experience. I can't explain how intentional I am going to be during this workshop. I'm going to be very intentional. Very intentional. So that's how I know it's just going to be the best thing. Smoking. <laughs> it really is. It's going to be so nice because I'll, I just, I'm doing this with love. And it's going to be nice. So, yes. I hope to see everyone there. <laughs> With that being said, uh, that is out the way. Yes. Um, I was scared of my what if nobody showed up. What if this happened? What if that happened? You know, and that was in my way. That's why I couldn't get ahead. Because I was in my own way thinking about what if all of the bad things happened. But never what if all of the good things happened. What if you actually just looked at the beauty that was, excuse me, the beauty of the situation that you had. You may be expecting for a lot of people to show up. But only a smaller, a smaller amount of what you thought was going to show up showed up. But why aren't we celebrating the amount that did show up? Why is it that? A large number is associated with success. A large number is associated with acceptance. What about the small numbers? Like, just because it's small does not mean it doesn't mean anything. I have noticed my likes go down from when I started this new journey in my life. And that is okay. Because I am so intentional with this life that I want to live. I am being so intentional with the community that I want to build. I don't want just everybody in here. I want people who genuinely 
are on the same path, who genuinely have love for me, who genuinely like just have love for everyone. That is what I want the community to be. Someone that just loves, love, love others. They're very welcoming. They don't make people feel uncomfortable. They don't make people feel less than. We just all want to thrive because we are all the same. We are all the same. However, you have to find your people. You have to find your people. Live, do what you truly want to do and not what you think is cool enough when other people see it. Do what you want to do because it is so many people out here in this world. There is somebody else who truly wants to do what you want to do. It's okay if it's not the people that's around you right now. You have to be okay with learning to let people go. You have to be okay with relationships ending. It is okay if something isn't how it was two days ago, last week, two months ago. Sometimes certain people are just for a season. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because now I know that I'm coming out of that season and I'm into another season. It was a moment where I felt like, for some reason, I just come, I keep coming across people that just need to heal themselves and then I'm being from them. And then, you know, like, yeah, sometimes I feel like that. But then it's just like, why am I getting offended of me being a great ass person? If somebody is no longer of my need, needed of my services, go ahead. Live your life. It's okay. I'm not priority in this part of your life right now, and that's perfectly fine. Because I will get some people where it's just like we're just on the same page and we're prioritizing one another, you know? So I'm no longer being offended because I don't have a connection with that person, a person that I used to have. What am I taking offense to? What am I taking offense to? We're growing. Beautiful. Because we may not be the same people that we thought we were. We are not the same people that we portrayed ourselves as. In the beginning, everybody changes. Everybody flourishes. Just because you thought that it was forever does not mean that it's forever. I have people that I haven't talked to in a long time um, that I'm talking to, you know, more recently. And I have people that I used to be talking to all the time now that I'm not talking to right now. But that's perfectly fine. That's fine. I'm appreciating the people that I am talking to. Whenever me and a person who falls off you know, can mutually come back to one another and feel respected by one another. That's the moment. <laughs> like, that'll be that moment. But right now, I'm just finding my people, being genuine, loving life. And also... I'm coming out of a little darkness that was in, I was in because, well, I'm not going to say it's darkness like that, but I like, I let life catch up to me. That fast. <laughs> that fast. I feel like we need to start acknowledging when life caught up to us so we can stop lying like it's not and then actually 100% work on getting out of the dark. Sometimes that means working on yourself. Working on your mindset, not being on social media because you need to work on yourself. You don't want to have anything like trigger another feeling that you're trying to overcome. So, yeah, I needed to just be myself, be present in my space and work on me so that I could come back to the space. And just give off that same energy. 
Burnout is real. Getting trapped up in your feelings is real. Getting trapped up in your mind is real. Your mind can be jail or paradise. Sometimes when you're out of jail, you got to lower your way. <laughs> out of your mind. Like, let me just step out of my mind, bro. Today I woke up. Um, I usually just had one, like, leggings or whatever the case is. But today I woke up and just felt a little different. I felt that today was the day that I gave myself a little more love. Today was the day that I really poured into myself. You know? And here I am, seeing the beauty and things, seeing the light. It's spring, y'all. It is spring. It's almost summertime. So, you know how summer make y'all get, like, y'all just want to be outside, y'all want to be in the mix. Me too, even. <laughs> but, if we work correctly towards our mindset our finances and things like that right now in the summertime we'll be able to be outside as much as we want to be outside mind you the summer is only three months a little less than that so three months is what um 90 days so if you work right now the next night or if you work right now you're 90 days right now the next summer, 90 days, is going to be so much more lit. It's going to be, you really can flourish. When summer comes, it's like, we, you can really tell who's been playing and who hasn't been playing. Because, like, everybody is outside. Nobody is hot and nobody is in high. So, get ready for the summer. If you want that body, get that body. Want to stop eating all that crazy stuff? Stop eating all that crazy stuff. If you're going to start your business, start your business. If you are going to have that meeting, you that, you know, it's always something that needs to be done. No matter how small the task is, it still needs to be done because the overall picture, the overall thing that you're building right now, it had to start like on some cement. <laughs> it had to start with drilling some holes. Those little holes, you can't even see those holes. You can't even see that cement on the ground. All you see is this large, beautiful building. But baby, you're going to have to sit there right now and build the foundation. Work on building your foundation. It's foundation season. Yeah. <laughs> it is foundation season. Work on your foundation. Because in the summertime, when that building is up, can't nothing knock it down. And it's going to thrive through summer. It's going to thrive through the winter. It's going to thrive through next spring. It's going to eat, thrive even more harder that following summer. So work on your foundation right now. Even if you have to work on your foundation in the summertime, still work on your foundation. Build the strongest foundation that you can right now. And that foundation is you. Work on yourself right now. Work on your business right now. Work on that paper right now. Work on school right now. Work on being a better person right now. Being a better mom right now. Being a better dad, whatever it is, right now. Work on it right now. There's always work that needs to be done. There's always something that needs to be added to the foundation to make it even stronger when it flourishes. So, yes. Open the windows and stuff like that and get some air and stuff. <laughs> Even if you have to go to a coffee shop and work or go to the library and work, get out of your house because right now you're so comfortable in your house. Get out your house. It's warm in your house. It's warm where you are right now. Get uncomfortable. Get cold. Get tingly right now. Get open right now. You don't have no choice. Because that's how I feel right now. Tingly. But in my house, I'm very warm. None of my body is cold. I can be like cozy up. But you have to get uncomfortable. <laughs> Woo! Woo child, woo child. But for real though, y'all. Let's get uncomfortable. Let's work on our foundation. And let's really flourish together. It takes time to build a foundation. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, 
I'm sending y'all all the love and light that you need. Um, I'm wishing y'all a very happy Monday. And I really hope that everyone gets everything that they desire this week. I know for a fact that they will because we are a community that is going to uplift one another, remind one another. One another. That's what we want to do. Thank y'all for thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for coming back to the space and just chatting it up with me. If you feel as though someone can call this their home as well, like it, share the post, subscribe to the YouTube channel, do what you have to do, tell a friend to tell a friend to come home. I am your host, Naya Perkins. This is Motions the Podcast, a space where we have candid conversations that cater to your entire being. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Ha, ha, ha.